Hello, and a very warm welcome to Bansko Blog and a, something rather different, a special sponsorship from 8wines.com. Well, these guys very kindly sent me a, well, eight wines. And uh, the great thing about having eight wines is you can have a very varied case. So we're starting off today, and it is March, late March, and it's been quite warm today, hasn't it, Sue? It We've has. been skiing here in Bansko. And this wine, Chateau Saint-Maur, is from Côte Provence. Yeah. 1921 vintage, this one is. And I'd like to get the feedback. Sue, you drink quite a lot of rosé, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so what do you think? Well, I'm gonna t I haven't tried it you yet. You haven't tried it yet? Right, okay, so can I just try it, and then I'll tell you my honest opinion, honest. if that's all right. Keep it honest. I really like it. Do you? That's absolutely delicious. Is it a taste of summer? I know we're spring now, aren't we? Yes, I know that people like to drink rosé in the summer, mm. but actually I like to drink it. Most Whenever of the you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> but that is really nice. I really like that. Okay. Yeah, so spot on. Good. Are you, are you being honest though? I am being absolutely honest because I have... Well, my Experience. Husband, my husband doesn't always buy me the best of rosés. So that is spot on. <laughs> He's looking at me at the moment. <laughs> Be honest. So, uh, question to husband: Why don't you buy your wife the best of roses? Because <laughs> you don't. Uh, you drink red. More. He's from Yorkshire, that's why. <laughs> well, I'm forced to drink rosé, but actually, I like rosé. So, okay. So this is a reasonably what I'd call a light style of rosé. It's not acidic. It's mild. It's drinkable, and it's just got some melon. Mmm. Just a little bit of strawberry going on there. Mmm. It's, it's very good. But it's not overpowering. And so I would no, say this is a rosé that if you are the other half of a rosé drinker and you want to share the bottle and have some of it, you're not going to be offended by this at all, are you? No, no, it's very pleasant. You're happy. Very, very drinkable. In fact, your glass has gone down a little bit. Well, it's very drinkable. That's the thing. <laughs> it's, it's not too heavy. It's very light. Um, it's... Refreshing. It's nice. So we're very happy with our rosé. So uh, the thing with eight wines is that you go to the website, you put your address, and you could be in any ski resort in Europe, for example, or any resort. You could be going on the summer somewhere. And what better than have your favourite wines being delivered to your accommodation whilst you're there? Or maybe if there's a property manager, they take it before. But you know what? You know, start your holiday. You've just been here with the girls, haven't you? Imagine if you'd had some nice wine waiting for you. Your your trip would have been even more enjoyable. It would have been, actually. <laughs> and if it was all waiting, you know, in the fridge, it would have been fantastic. <laughs> so Jordan would have put it in the fridge and everything. So, so here's the thing. This is the way to have your holiday, be it a ski trip or a summer trip, is go to 8wines.com. Thank you for your promotion. But we're genuinely loving this wine. Thank you to Miles for doing the camera work. Uh, there you go, there's the whole bottle. Uh, it's a very nice bottle, looks very elegant, and I think everybody will enjoy this. So cheers to you all, thank you so much for watching. Hello, and a very warm welcome again. We're back with our special promotion with 8 Wines, that's number 8, wines.com. Thank you so much to Sergey and the team for delivering an amazing, well, 8 Wines. and. Uh, well, we're trying our second one, which is very interesting. But before I talk about this wine, I just want to say that you can order your case of wine anywhere in Europe, before, maybe before you go on holiday, and you've got some very special wine. And in our last tasting, Sue had the girls, and you really wish you'd had a case of wine waiting for you, oh, didn't you? I, oh, yes, absolutely. And I you like done this a week ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, we've got something very interesting here, a wine from Georgia. Yeah. We're here in Bulgaria, so it's across the pond, if you like, a big pond um, called the Black Sea. And we've got a grape that I've never had before called Chin Chinurai, uh, or Chinuri. Uh, how should I pronounce that, uh, Christian? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, yeah. Chinuri, Chinuri. And this wine is called Ayago. It's a pretty funky label. And this is one of these wines. It's had uh, six months maceration. And it looks a bit different, doesn't it? It's got the oranges. It's got an orange. And it's opening up, and it's got really lovely tropical fruits. It's dry. This is not a sweet wine, so it's a proper dry wine. 
but it's a bit different and it's very natural. It's unfiltered wine. So no hangover with this wine, hey? So over to right, the try. lady who particularly likes all things a little bit pink. Well, yes, rosé or white wine. Yes. And so this is different. I'll just wait for it. Mm. It's an unusual colour. I don't think I've had a wine this colour before. No, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, yeah. thumbs up from me. Yes, yeah, so the colour can be a little bit off-putting to start with, but give it time. It's it all in the taste. Orangey flavour to it. It does. It does it's citrus, true. isn't it? Great and fruit. actually, it, it improves. And I think I'm on my second glass now, and <laughs> it's um, it's definitely um, growing on me. Yeah. So this is a wine that it's actually you can't just walk into your local wine store and buy. Go to eightwines.com and get something interesting. They have a huge selection. And I've got one of the most eclectic wines, so stay tuned for more. I'd like to thank Christian on camera. Uh, he also has been drinking this wine quite satisfactorily, I think. Delicious indeed. <laughs> Maybe his hand is steady. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, once again I'm going to say cheers to you all thank you so much for oh, yes, thank you. watching cheers. bye hello and welcome back to our tasting still on the whites from 8wines.com thank you to 8wines for providing this case for review that's 8 number 8 wines.com you can go to 8wines.com and get a case of wine delivered to wherever you're going in Europe. So, if you're coming for a ski trip with the girls, which I know you enjoy, Sue. Absolutely. We had that on a previous video, but wherever you're going at any stage of the year, you can pick some fabulous wines to kick off your holiday the way that you want to kick off your holiday, which is obviously with some fine, wonderfully drinkable wines. And here today we have one example, actually, that I'm a little bit surprised about because I have to confess, I can be a little bit mm, on, uh, on uh, Sauvignon Blancs from New Zealand. They can be a bit grassy, green and overly acidic uh, without much fruit. But I'm very pleased to say that this Rapura Springs from Marlborough uh, in New Zealand is delivering that punch of fruit. Definitely. So uh, the sort of fruit I can taste is, well, grapefruit and uh, maybe there's uh, passion fruit there. All sorts. Let's taste. Eddie Ham. Cheers. Let me know what you uh, think. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. I think it's actually improved since our first little taste. It's gorgeous. Mm. No, love it. You like it, yeah? I do. I definitely. Now, you do nice. drink Sauvignon Blanc, don't you, quite a lot? I do. Yeah. Yes. I only drink white. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no red for me. No red. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Uh, we all have our preferences, and of course, uh, that's the beauty of eight wines. So if uh, one, uh, one of you wants white wines, or pink wines, rosés, and the other one's red, then you're going to get what, exactly what you want. Exactly. And uh, so this is a Sauvignon Blanc, as I said before, and obviously one of the great things about Sauvignon Blancs is its freshness. So you've got this, you know, if you're going somewhere where you want really lively wine, summery wine, then a good Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand is what you really want, don't you? To no, put this, you in the is, mood. this is very nice. Kick very off nice the evening, indeed. yeah, with a few nuts, <laughs> in our case. <laughs> <laughs> or a lunchtime. Or a lunchtime. Or as yeah. soon as you come off the slopes. <laughs> mm. Or before you go around the pool, or whilst you're around the pool, even. Absolutely. This would be very nice. I, I find this quite a summery drink, actually. Um, but all year round, I know you're an all year round Sauvignon Blanc no, I am. drinker. Yeah, no, it's um, a nice colour as well. So that's all from us this time. Thank you so much for watching. We'll... Sh leave you with a close-up of the bottle um, of this Sauvignon Blanc from Rapura Springs provided by 8wines.com.